You should probably give him some space. Get too close and all that swatting might catch you in the face. Oh no, seems like Valerina has run into some more cat-sized trouble. Honorary Knight! Cat Whisperer! This big cat just barged in here after Snowball! He must have spotted her when she went out for a walk and followed her all the way back here! Easy, easy. No one's going to hurt you here. All those evil things, all those bad people who forced you to do whatever it took to survive, they can't find you here. You're safe within these walls. You're surrounded by good people now. Their constant hovering might get a little annoying, but it's all for your own good. Just relax. A life of leisure isn't a bad thing, you know. You just have to get used to it. He understood all that? Looks like it worked. <laughs> Smart cat. Whoa, this cat is way bigger than the others. His coloring looks like fresh squeezed buell fruit juice. And he's wearing a scarf too! Huh? Looks like there's some sort of design on it. Oh, it's the symbol of the Knights of Avonius! He deserves a name fit for a knight then. Hmm, he is pretty feisty. How about Sir Pancelot? You really do have a way with cats. He looks way more at ease now. Paimon thinks you deserve to take the credit this time. Sir Pancelot seemed to calm down right after everything you said to him. It doesn't matter to me either way. Although, the fact that they're cute doesn't hurt. And show you how to put Sir Pouncelot completely at ease. Paimon just needs to work a bit more of her magic and he'll be as happy as can be. Aw, that's a good kitty, Sir Pouncelot. You better be on your best behavior from now on, okay? Don't go causing trouble now. <laughs> Paimon knows you're a sweet, happy little cat. You'll get along with everyone just fine. He's so adorable. I just want to scratch his head and pinch his little cheeks. He does have a certain endearing quality about him. When he's not causing trouble, that is. Huh. I wonder how he got that injury around his eye. The traces of restorative potion indicate that Sir Pouncelot should be in the vicinity. Oh, it's the Traveler, Paimon, and Sister Rosaria. And you must be an adventurer. I don't believe we've met. It appears Sir Pouncelot has taken quite the liking to you. Albedo! It's been such a long time! It's super great to see you! Uh, but are you sure you're in the right place? I'm assuming the captain of the investigation team is here for some important reason? Captain? He's a captain of the Knights of Favonius? An important officer just showed up without warning. And I don't even have any refreshments or snacks to offer. Please, allow me to explain, sir. I assure you, this shelter is operating under a legitimate business license. All proper procedures have been followed. There's no need to worry. I was simply in the area helping my team address a small issue. Namely, the location of this cat right here. Not too long ago, Interim Team Feline Treatment Case Number 3, Sir Pouncelot, knocked out the weapons officer who was watching over him. He then fled and disappeared into the city. We knew we had to recover him as fast as possible. The cat belongs to the investigation team, and even bears the insignia of the Knights of Favonius. If he were to wreak havoc across the city, well, that would hardly be a welcome result for any party involved. You're saying Sir Pouncelot is capable of knocking out a knight? And what's with all those official-sounding titles you added to his name? Interim 
treatment case something or other? Is there something else you're not telling us? Uh, well, I suppose I should explain. Two months ago, Sir Pouncelot got lost in the wild and accidentally ingested Whopper Flower Nectar. Due to certain effects that are not entirely understood as of yet, the nectar caused him to triple in size. Triple? Even regular-sized cats can get pretty bold when they're upset. A cat triple the size? Oh, Paimon bets even a hilly churl wouldn't be enough to scare off a cat like that. So that's what happened. No wonder he was so anxious. For cats, or really any animal that lives in the wild, a larger size doesn't exactly confer many advantages. What it actually does is make their appearance more noticeable and their movements less nimble. Which in turn means living in perpetual danger of exposing themselves to attacks from predators. In other words, it means living in a constant state of fear. Exactly. When Sir Pouncelot stumbled upon our encampment, he looked quite worse for wear. His entire body was riddled with scars, and he appeared exceptionally anxious. Th that's awful. I guess he had a good reason for all that swatting earlier then. If all that had happened to me, I would be afraid of new people and strange animals too. You don't need to worry too much. The problem has already been solved. I administered a restorative potion to eliminate the alchemical effects of the Whopper Flower Nectar and help him return to a normal size. Although he still might appear a bit larger than the average cat, his current size at least should pose no more threat to his quality of life. While in our care, various knights have been taking turns watching over him. In light of his feisty demeanor, Klee decided to call him Sir Pouncelot. We all thought it was quite fitting. We even made him that little scarf as a testament to his time among our ranks. Whoa! Klee and Paimon were totally on the same wavelength with this one! We thought of the exact same name! Great minds really do think alike! <laughs> Sir Pouncelot's extreme level of anxiety and caution around people may be a result of residual trauma from the time of his transformation. You could say he was less than friendly towards the weapons and signals officers on our team. Klee wasn't around that much to entertain him either. However, it appears Sir Pouncelot has taken quite the liking to you. The knights on my team would never have imagined that he could warm up to people like this. <laughs> well, they are our dear cat saviors after all. The famed honorary knight and Paimon the Cat Whisperer. No matter how feisty or frightening the cat, after a few minutes with the Traveler and Paimon, they'll be as sweet as can be. If that's the case, then I have a question for you both. Would you be willing to adopt Sir Pouncelot? Wait, really? But doesn't he belong to your team? Well, we did take him in, but it was simply out of necessity. We were always planning to find him a permanent home after his condition became more stable. The investigation team is no place for a pet. We are a combat unit after all. Any night he got close to would have to go on assignment eventually. It's hardly appropriate to just leave him at camp. And bringing him on our missions would only frighten him further. All good points. He's been through quite the ordeal already. For a creature like that, it's best to keep him away from potential triggers. That way, he can slowly recover in peace. Hmm... We could set up a nice cozy little home for him in the Serena Teapot. It has everything he could want! And most importantly, no monsters. Thank you so much, Albedo! Oh, no need to thank me. If you find yourselves with some time on your hands, Maybe you can bring him by the encampment sometime. I'm sure my fellow knights would love a chance to see his calmer side. That, that was so touching! I can't believe I got to witness such a special moment! I do believe this counts as the Furball Fortress's first successful adoption! 
Hey, my veil is not a handkerchief. It appears you enjoy interacting with small animals, Sister Rosaria. I must admit, I find that a bit surprising. Paimon can also sense that you're an animal lover, Rosaria. You definitely have a way with cats. You just haven't realized it yet. After all, it's not a side of you that comes out very often. Snowball warmed up to you right from the start, and you were the one that helped Sir Pantalot calm down back there. Oh, uh, I didn't really do anything, though. I was just... there. Ah, I've got it! I've learned so many useful tips from our dear cat saviors recently. I've decided to extend the shelter's trial period for a bit in order to go over what I've learned. With some effort, I hope I can be a Cat Whisperer too one day. For now though, I'll settle for Cat Whisperer... in training. <laughs> when I open for good, what do you say we run the shelter together, Miss Rosaria? With the two of us, we could rescue every stray in Mondstadt! Hmm, the sister and the whisperer working together! Almost sounds like it was meant to be! <laughs> oh, well, this errand hasn't proved to be too troublesome. It's light on work and stress. I suppose I wouldn't be opposed to your suggestion. I don't know much about rescuing stray animals, but this seems to be quite the milestone. Allow me to offer my congratulations. If my fellow knights run into any strays, I'll be sure to tell them to send them your way. Thank you, thank you, thank you! I really can't thank you all enough for your support! Don't worry, there's a generous reward in store for each and every one of you! The trial phase of the Furball Fortress could not have been more successful! When we open for good, you all simply must come to the opening ceremony. We'll cut the ribbon together. Now that's what Paimon calls a successful commission. Rewarding in more ways than one. Mora, a sense of accomplishment, and of course, our special friend Sir Pamphlet. Talk about a win-win-win. Paimon can't wait for the Furball Fortress to open for good. <laughs> <laughs>